We're gonna work on our top right attacks now. So we're slowly moving up that ladder, attacking like we talked about before, moving into the upper body attacks off of the top right. So we're going from the legs, and we're really going towards, reaching towards that hammerlock series that we mentioned in the, the, the title of the DVD. But there's a lot of things along the way that we don't wanna miss. So starting out from that top right, I wanna want to show you, I covered this very briefly earlier, I wanna hit it again. If you belly out, Dale, please. We did this from a crab ride, where I showed you how to go from here, step off, punch the knee, and, and down here, I pull with my heel. Now when I do this, I'm down here because I want to crush his head in the mat. All my weight is here. I want to get this as high to the cross as possible, and my knee is here. So I pull and punch my leg through. That's important to remember, okay? So you've, if you get a guy broken down, he goes straight to your top right here, and it gets you nice and high to lift his hips off the ground. Okay, so I'm gonna be easy on Bill and go over this real quick. You okay? Yes, sir. The first submission is your further Nelson. It's not a half. And why is it a further Nelson? It's a further Nelson because I'm riding his left hip and I'm attacking the right shoulder. Okay? I'm attacking the right shoulder. It is most definitely a shoulder lock because I'm taking his arm this way, ripping it up and neck cranking him, hopefully at the same time. It's mostly a shoulder lock, though, right? So when I get in here, like this, I don't want to just start pushing on his head because I'm telegraphing everything. I'm telling, and Dale's been around forever. If I do this, he's gonna be like, no way, coach. No freaking way. So what I'll do is I grab the wrist, okay? So ignore my legs for a second. Just pay attention to what I'm doing here. I get the wrist control. Maybe I make him think I'm working for a hammer lock here or here. Maybe that's what I wanted to believe. But to see how his head's starting to get turned a little bit. Now I take that head and I shove it. I go elbow to elbow and come across with my cutting bone. I want that elbow up to compromise that shoulder. Now, let's add the top right to it, okay? So, let me get nice, you okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm high on the top right now. I come under, wrist control first, just like we talked about. It can be the hand, I don't give a crap. Whatever you can get here, get his mind here. Don't start just pushing on the head. Everybody wrestling in high school is gonna feel that coming from a mile away. This ain't high school hairy crap. Push the head. Go here and twist for a very quick submission, okay? That's number one. Number two is a setup for a submission, okay? They call it a bar Nelson. Not many people will tap on. I have had people do it, but they, they had a lot of shoulder issues, most likely. Um, okay, mm -hmm. can you put your head down straight? Good. So you don't have to go flat, flat, just relax. Wherever you're comfortable, mm -hmm. okay? Here into the neck, cutting bone. I'm gonna cross my wrist bones here and scissor, like that. You okay? It popped. Yeah, that's cool. It doesn't, you okay? Yeah, great. That doesn't normally happen. You yeah. getting old on me? I'm old. <laughs> those, those got a lot of miles with this, but you good, bro? Yeah, great. Okay, so sometimes you can get a submission, but what I'm looking for, watch, watch Dale's arm. See how bent it is? Watch this. Come across, like this, okay? And I got myself a nice little key lock, okay? Now, people don't understand what key locks are sometimes. They goof them up. They try to grab here. This is nothing. This is trash. Watered down trash. Not even a bicep slicer. You have to go underneath and squeeze that arm down. Now you feel it, right? Yes, sir. Now I dismount, come off to the side, heavy on the shoulder, and gently lift. How far did I move? Almost nothing, right? You guys with me? Okay. So there's two. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Back to the top ride. We're almost done. So here. Now, a couple other options. We had the key lock. You can, the same thing I'm going to show you right now with the double wrist lock is the same thing you can do with the key lock. And I'll show you how to really finish the double wrist lock the right way with the key lock. Real quick, I know it's slightly off topic, but it's important. So here, I go for that bar Nelson. That arm is bent, but look what grip I have instantly. Pin it down. Keep the weight on him or here. I release my legs and I spin literally on his chest and watch what I'm doing with the hand. I pull it in. Okay, I walk around. I'm tight. 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 I'm going to step up, rip it, and roll him 30 degrees. I want to be 30 degrees on this. We used to call it the dirty 30. Elbow on the ground, roll him up. Knee goes on the head. I don't step over the head. My foot's not on the ground, none of that lazy crap, but here's a key you may have never seen. 
other than being as low as possible, other than turning the wrist away, I want to pull his shoulder out of joint. I don't run it up, okay? Watch. I get here and I pull up. Mm -hmm. And then I go to the head, watch my leg. Done. Okay?